Hey guys, it's Skylar Espinoza, back again with another tattoo video. Today we'll be going a little more in depth into the tattoo process, uh, displaying a little more techniques and showing close-up shots of the needle. And today we'll be working on a micro dog portrait of my client's pit bull. So we're going to go ahead and get into the tattoo. Let me know in the comments below what you think or if there's anything that you guys want to see in the future. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. All right guys, so here we are starting the tattoo. So the very first thing I wanna map in this stencil. This part's very important because if you were to jump around too much or uh, wait too long for a certain part, you may lose it. So uh, to start, I'm gonna just go through with about 50% uh, black to knock in some of the, the basic shapes. And then also wherever there's solid black, we'll start mapping that in. anything I'm just lightly tattooing certain parts with the shading I'm not going not fully rendering the piece more or less just getting the basic shapes blocked in When doing a portrait or anything realistic for that matter, and especially you know when you're using a lot of single needle and it's such a small piece, you got to be very specific and very deliberate with your with your movements. And, uh, you know, some people may think that uh, the micro tattoos are done completely with a single needle. Um, and there may be artists th that do it that way. Uh, I find that, uh, especially for like white areas or you know, all black spots, it's good to pull out a five mag or even like a seven round shader. It just, it'll, it'll be more consistent and cover the area faster, you know. Some parts don't need that level of detail, so it's not worth wasting the time. I find that like smooth shading and things like that, you know, you could easily lose track and, you know, lose the the overall shape of the portrait so right here I'm just making sure to to be very deliberate slowly mapping it in and now uh, we'll go back and do more shading here in a moment once we get uh, all the black mapped in the eyes are the most important part of the portrait um, there's really no room for error here at all so uh, I just make sure I go in with a plan, execute the plan, and uh, to make sure that they come out you know, very clear, very crisp and even. And I do find that uh, I like leaving a, a white highlight uh, in the eyes. It just gives them an extra pop at the end. So you see there, I was, there's that little gap. And uh, we'll get to that at the very end.
you know, if you were to try and rush the process or tattoo that, you know, try and do it too fast or too hard, uh, you're going to abuse the skin and it's, it's not going to heal as well. So I'm always keeping that in mind as I'm moving through this, just slowly building it up. Looks like we're getting closer to the end. Adding in a lot of the, the smoother shading. I like to leave that last, you know, get the structure in. And then it's a lot easier just to, to add the shade because you can see the value right away. You know, if there's no black there to compare it to, it may be a little difficult, so. Now we're going in on the bottom. Fully detailing out certain spots. Add a little texture here and there up the line work at the very end just making sure every every or going through checking everything cleaning up the line work then at the very end here we'll add a couple white highlights just to just to make them pop at the end especially in the eyes or usually if anything is wet or has a big highlight on it that's where we'll do it at that point so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the tattoo as much as i did if you have any tattoo related questions, whether it be about equipment or technique, please feel free to reach out. I'm here to help you guys. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching my video. Peace.